All right, tracking some drums to tape today. ATR 124. I uh, show you a couple things that are cool about this machine. One in particular, uh, when I'm going through this process, and if any of you guys are interested, what happens here? You, you put a test tape on to set your reference level, and it has a center frequency for gain, 1k uh, treble, 10k. 100 hertz for low end and you just go in and on playback you set everything all three of those points to the same level for your record level uh, and you go one channel at a time I won't drag you through all of that but one one of the many things I like about this machine and you can do it other ways but what's cool about this machine uh, having been made in 1978 uh, is it will cycle so I can set a, a a range of, of time and it'll play back and loop now of course that's something you know we take for granted but it was really neat with this machine so I'm gonna tweak uh, on this machine a little bit and also uh, when I sign off on here I'm gonna play you guys a track from my band I mentioned uh, in the previous uh, live stream that I'm gonna be doing some work on that this isn't one of the tracks that I'm gonna be working on at least not initially but it'll give you an idea of what the band's uh, like. So anyway, um, I think I've got this cut, so you're not going to hear. I'll play you guys for for you nostalgic, uh, you know, audio guys. If you haven't heard this in a while, uh, let me just get a track up here. Uh, this should be feeding our feet out of here. Um, Let's see if it does. Uh, and I have to have my glasses because I can't see. And got to have a headlamp. It's getting serious in here. So, all right. Without further ado, dig this guy. Blast from the past. AES equalization. One kilohertz. And this machine is particularly, I'll blind you guys, uh, impressive. It's been off. I haven't tracked on the machine. I really, it's been months. And it's not out of alignment uh, more than a quarter of a dB anywhere. Uh, so far on 1k Let's see what sync looks like all good all good I know this is probably like watching paint dry but you're about to see one of the cool things happen right it's going to go a minute in which is the end of my 1k tone if I needed more of it and watch this 10 kilohertz Without me having to get up and do anything or do any, press anything, there it goes. I, I love this thing. It's uh, AES just even the sound of One the kilohertz. motor, real motors when it shuttles, is sweet. So, so there's that. I'm gonna have my head down in here for a minute. Um, doesn't look so bad though. Let's see if any of you guys are on. Maybe nobody's hit. Alright, cool. So, uh, I am going to get a mic set up here, hopefully next week. Here comes a track uh, from my band. We were called 80th Action. So, uh, I'll play that down while I continue doing this hopefully it's not blasting you out here level wise but check it out and then you'll have some idea of what I'm going to be up to in the coming posts
All right, so uh, there's one track from the band, Shuttling Tape here, and I'm going to sign off in a minute. Uh, I got some questions here. I'll see what comes up. Next thing I have to do here is the uh, record alignment, which takes a little bit longer. But even that doesn't uh, doesn't drift that much on this machine. Um, uh, what is kind of cool about this, for all you nerds out there, any tape machine guys, it has an audio control system circuit down here, and I can take off my. Uh, oscillator fee because I have a bunch of stuff patched up so if I was going to try to send the oscillator to all 24 tracks I'd have to pull anything that was patched into buses or whatever uh, sometimes I just pull a DL out from under the console but what it's got is I can take the oscillator out off the console I've got a little uh, cable I made that goes XLR to coax and I can slip it on this audio control card and it'll blast tone to the entire machine without me having to patch around it or pull patches on things that would understand how what a cool feature that is that you can just send a scope and uh, patch a uh, tone generator into the machine and you can align the machine you can even monitor it off the card and listen to what you're doing so that you can work on the machine without having it had to be patched into uh, a playback uh, system so a lot of cool stuff about this machine Let's see if we got any questions here. Um, yeah, this, so the band stuff, uh, again, all, all this stuff, it, 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 obviously all you guys that are here right now are, are already hip to the channel, and I'm just getting it going. Um, but part of kind of what we're sitting in right now with no touring and, and, and you know no prospects of playing live foreseeably, a lot of this music that I had sitting around, it's just uh, because, you know, it's like, well, what are we going to do with this? The band is kind of a defunct thing at this point. I'm going to start putting it out there. So if, if you dig that track, I'm going to figure out which medium, you know, which delivery system I'm going to put it on because I really hate the whole streaming thing and all that. And I'll be the last guy to convert. But anyway, I'm going to find a way to get it out there to you guys. Um, and if you dig it, you know, help generate some some uh, feedback for it, and maybe we'll jump in and, and record some new music. Cause now it doesn't matter if we tour or not, or we can just make music for the sake of doing it, uh, which is kind of the point anyway. So yeah, appreciate the uh, the feedback there. Um, and uh, some other things uh, I'm going to get into also. I I have a stick with uh, innovative percussion that that I really feel good about what we came up with um, so if you if you haven't checked that out I'm gonna make a video and I'll talk about you know what I was going for um, and what I feel like we achieved with what it, what the, how well the stick functions it's uh, that's coming I, I'll do a blast on that um, I'll jump back on tomorrow doing something so uh, ATR 124, super cool tape machine. I'm going to be tracking the rest of the day on that as soon as I finish here. Um, and I'm going to get in some mixing later. Somebody asked about some comments. Listen, send me on uh, social media. I'm looking for rock vocalists to work with. That's sort of a, uh, you know, a failing fixture or if you will I mean that's it's a missing ingredient for rock music it's just uh, there's no great rock vocalist or at least I'm not a hip to them uh, I, you know that's a lot of the executives types say that rock and roll is a dead genre I just think it's dead because there's no composition and there's no singers so sorry no offense to all you guys out there they go rah, 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 and all that shit but you know it takes a little more effort than that so if any of you guys know somebody, you got a relative, you know somebody in your province or town, wherever you are around the world, if you're hip to somebody that's happening, send it to me. That's what this place was for. I want to make some great music, and, I, and I'm always looking for uh, 
for a voice, you know, somebody to work with. So uh, that's part of the idea. All right. Um, Yeah, so, yeah, I will. Um, I, on the uh, As far as what I do, look, there's a million guys out there, especially now with Pro Tools. I'm an engineer by necessity, basically. I learn how to do these a lot of what I do. Because, uh, you know, I, I you don't have a budget. You know, part of building the studio was I wouldn't have to be throwing that money out to chase down my own creative outlets. So as an extension of that, I had to learn to be somewhat competent as a mix engineer um, there's tons of guys out there way better at it than I am but it's part of my whole package of what I do and um, I will uh, Christian my friend here is asking about that uh, my band thing that I'm going to go back through I'm going to replace the drums here in my room and I'm going to kind of revitalize and go back after the mix because I hear things about it that's just over compressed. I just feel like I left a lot of energy, a lot of communication and, and, and depth uh, in sort of a static place. So I'm going to go back through it and that will, you know, I'll, I'll walk through what I'm doing and, and that won't be so much a live. Maybe I'll just go live and let you guys, anybody that wants to sit around and watch the whole thing go down can, can sit and be present. And then I'll edit it together in a more concise way, uh, and I'll put a you know emphasis uh, of, as best I can on the approach to the drums, the drum sound, uh, you know, kind of what I'm going for and why I'm going back after the track, and um, so that'll be upcoming. I'm hoping to get into that next week. Uh, <laughs> these days I get nothing done at light speed. It's crazy. A, a day is half over by the time I get uh, the lights turned on, it feels like. so. Uh, but anyway, we'll see what happens. Thanks, you guys, for showing up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the alerts, notifications. I'm sure everybody that's here already has already done that. Thanks for that. Um, just getting the thing started. I know you guys want to see more drum stuff. There's a million guys out there with a million different things you can study up on. I'll do my best to, to throw some things out there. I've always been more about the whole of music than than uh, drums, just my instrument. I, I have obviously spent a life's pursuit uh, of trying to develop my voice or what it is that I want to do with the drums. Um, I'm always thinking that you, you know I, I like to groove I like to do this thing and I have some very deep thoughts about what that is and what I've learned over the years but I'm not you know if you guys you know want to check that stuff out it's it's forthcoming so uh, let's see all right you guys I, I gotta get to work but uh, thanks for stopping by uh, catch you tomorrow all right